Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And this morning, we're going to talk about a honeycomb repair. By the way, special thanks go to John Shardama at Excel Air, David Fletcher at Fletch Air, and Roscoe at Yankee Aviation, who made the technical support and parts available for this project possible. And here's a drawing um, of the honeycomb area we're going to be repairing up in the front where the nose strut comes through. Now, the nice thing about doing a repair by the manual, this is a picture here of the salvage piece that we're going to be using to cut down to go into the airplane to make the repair according to the manual. But when a repair is done by the manual, it actually becomes stronger. And here we are looking at, we're checking everything, making mat boards to make sure that when we cut everything, everything's going to fit together. But again, a repair made to an airplane makes it stronger. Now we've transferred our cutting lines to the actual airplane that we're going to have to cut the piece out to make the honeycomb repair as described in the manual. And as someone pointed out, this is true commitment when you start cutting on your airplane. But here's a die grinder and it's going through the honeycomb making a hole. Now, here's the piece that came out. This illegal repair was found while doing other work on the airplane and that happens a lot uh, with repairs on our airplane. Now that we've gotten that area out, we're going to clean the whole area around it. And here's a picture of what it looks like looking from the inside out of the airplane and what we've had to disturb. Now, here we are taking the new piece and we're trying to make sure it fits perfectly. You want to make sure you have a good connection there. And that's before you even begin the pattern making here of cutting out the doublers, which are part of the process of doing this repair. And as with anything we do, before we cut or do anything, we check. And here we are with Clecos holding everything together that's been drilled, making sure that what we have is what we're going to do. Now, needless to say, here's the repair piece with the doubler, but along the way there was a lot of drilling that had to be done. And again, here's another picture from looking on the other side of the airplane, checking the fit from the outside, going, okay, this is good enough to pass muster, it conforms to the manual, and now what we're going to do is take our doublers and countersink the heck out of them. About 500 something rivets are used in this process uh, of this repair. Again, making the airplane stronger. So now, again, we're going to place everything in its proper position and we're going to check it for fit. And we do a lot of that. Again, here's another final check. You notice the Clecos now are holding everything in place. We have wood blocks keeping things off the floor where we need to work, but Fitting is being checked again. And here it is from the other side. The inside has now started the riveting process with the countersunk. And then we move on to the outside. And you can see here that the outside of the aircraft has been riveted with all those countersunk holes. And uh, the repair went fairly easy at that point. Not a, not a hard job, just needs to be thorough. Here's all the repair pieces, including the 500 something rivets. But when you're all done, what you're going to wind up with that the airplane's painted is something that looks like this, hardly noticeable. So we hope you found this useful and informative. Thanks for watching, and have a good day flying your Grumman.